MTN's Elizabeth Transu caught up with Cascade County Clerk and Recorder Rena Moore, who explains the election night process. If you showed up to the polls on Tuesday, you were not alone. In fact, you were one of 490,000 plus to cast a vote in the 2018 midterm election. But fast forward two days later. This is the uh, aftermath of the elections. And the work is nowhere near being done, even after camping out at Montana Expo Park for 40 hours counting votes. Election officials will go by hand, approving all ballots by day of registered voters. Then move on to provisional ballots which are those who moved precincts or counties. And even after that, the Secretary of State will issue an audit that will double check those numbers. But many are asking what took so long for results. It was a day that all the parties want. They always want everybody to turn out. Well, with big turnout, that extends the rest of the process longer into the evening or the morning. All the candidates are excited to see who won and the parties are excited to see who won, but elections is a big, big job. Great turnout takes longer to process and that's all there is to it. I mean, you can, that machine only runs so fast. Best case scenario, that machine can handle roughly 2,000 ballots an hour, and that's if the machine doesn't get a paper jam. We knew it was going to be a long day because of the double pages. You know, so we've we've technically never counted that many pages of ballot before. Election day, everybody has an idea of how you can do a better, how you can do it better and faster, but they don't see this afterwards. This is we still are are working. In Great Falls, Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. Election results will not be officially approved by the Secretary of State until December. And you can find all the election results from Cascade County as well as from the Secretary of State's office by searching for election results at krtv.com. Cascade County Commissioner Jane Weber has been reelected for another six years. She found herself in the seat when she took over for former Commissioner Peggy Beltrone eight years ago. She was officially elected in 2012 and is now in her second election term. Weber says, among many things, she hopes to work more with the zoning board. I want to change some of the things that have been happening with zoning in Cascade County. I think that we have interest with people coming in to do businesses here in our county that are limited. And so a lot of it is because we don't have a lot of heavy industrial identified in Cascade County. We have some limited light industrial areas, and I think we need to be reopening and rethinking how we do that because we might be able to attract some additional business.